Mete, bine ai revenit în România, bine ai venit la ce să ne bucurești, ce te-a determinat să accepti această provocare? First of all, I had a great experience with Romania before. Uh, I was in Bulgaria and it was um, I loved it very much. Everything about it. The culture, the people, the country, the weather, much better than Denmark. So it was easy for me to make this choice. Okay. Uh, care sunt obiectivele tale personale pentru început? Oh, first of all, there are really two jobs I have to consider. Make plans for the new season, the new team, the new projects. Uh, we have a lot of work to do in that area. And uh, also the team now, we have to perform. Um, we have to try and make it to the playoffs. I think this could be very important for the new project also. So, new team, old team, yeah. Ce se mai are un, ce se mai bucurești, are un proiect grandios pe termen lung. Poate fi noul old team al României? I think... I don't know the old king project from the start, uh, but I think, uh, of course, there are some similarities. But the main difference here is that this is also a project for men's team, for women's team, and for the talents, the youth. And this is actually a very important base of everything. So, um, of course, we want to win titles uh, with the, the uh, senior teams, but to get the youth coming up is very important. I hope that we can have the same atmosphere in the hall as we had in Vulcia. Uh, the fan base was very loyal, very, very good. And I'm sure if we can uh, fill up Sala Pulivalente here with the same kind of fans, it will be beautiful. It's the first time you can conduce a team with objectives big din postura de antrenor principal. Ce înseamnă acest lucru pentru tine? Actually, I've been a head coach for many years in Denmark. Um, so this is not so new to me, but in this scale, it kind of is. Uh, starting as coach in Vivo uh, was also a very big project. Uh, many big names like Gregiua, uh, Boyana, Popovic, you know, big stars to the top. Uh, so this part of the work I am very familiar with. Same as, as in Bulgaria, big stars uh, and training them like they were normal people. So um, I look forward to the challenges of being head coach for this big project and I feel I'm prepared for it. De cât timp este nevoie ca o echipă tânără, cum este CSM București, să ajungă în Final Four Champions League și să-și propună să cucerească un trofeu important. It's very tough to say. It's, it's, um, normally, I would say, when a new team has to play together as a team, it will take about a year, three quarter of a year, to, to play good. You have to have a little bit of patience there. But who knows, you know, if, if things work out, injuries, we don't have so much, and bit of luck also, then uh, it could be very soon. But it's hard to put a real number on when it's going to be. Te vei reîntâlni cu câteva jucători, jucători cu care ai lucrat. Cristina Vărzaru, de la Biborg, Iulia Curea, la Olichim. E un avantaj pentru ambele părți? Uh, yeah, for sure. Uh, first of all, they know my coaching style, they know how I want things done in trainings, in preparations, uh, in games also. So they will be very important figures uh, uh, when we play, when we train, um, because they know me, they know the style of handball I want to play. So they also know the mentality. And they can help me understand the Romanian girls or what country they are from. Uh, so I think uh, it's very important to have somebody you, who knows you and you know. Mm -hmm. In campionatul României se anunță o mare rivalitate între CSM București și CSM ASCM Baia Mare. Cele două cluburi au făcut investiții foarte importante. Este o motivație în plus pentru tine? Yeah, big plus. 
and this is, I think, not only good for Chesame and Bayamara, but for the rest of the teams in the Romanian league, for all handball in Romania. Right now, it seems to be the handball mecca of Europe. Uh, everybody will watch what's going to happen here in Bucharest and Bayamara and the championship next year. So the rivalry will be very, very important for Romanian handball, I think, and a big motivation factor. Vei colabora în continuare cu Iacob Vesterga? Look, Iacob has been a friend of mine for many years, so of course I will always talk to him uh, about handball. Uh, so yes, in some part of it, he, he will be the first. Yeah. Okay. În final, un mesaj pentru fanii ce să ne bucurești? Please come to the hall and make some noise. Mm -hmm. We need to start the fan culture right away. Uh, you need to support the team and uh, I think we will pay you back. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck. Yeah, you too. <laughs>